义诊才一开始，罗宾就坐进挂号区，迅速完成身体的基本机能检查。因为后面他得跑三个诊区看病。The treatment is very good because when sometimes when I go to the doctor, I might have to sit there for maybe two hours before I even see the doctor. When I get to the doctor, I'm only there five minutes. But here, I get to see the doctor, the acupuncture, the dentist, and you know, maybe for maybe like an hour, I'm here, and I'm seeing three doctors. It's, it's terrific. 美国慈济医疗置业每三个月会到圣伯纳丁诺举办义诊。马里欧任职于印第安泉高中附近大学的工位系，这次特地带了八位学生来见习。We're honored to participate today with your organization, and it is great experience to have our students be able to do these different types of skill sets, performing as future pharmacists. 乐于服务的还有学区里的小学校长及科技公司的老板。Within this community, there's lots of immigration problems, and so many of them don't want to go to the doctor. They don't want to go to the regular clinics, and so they prefer to come here to get the support. And they do. They get lots and lots of support, lots of help at no cost at all, and it's wonderful to see. 当他们受到治治疗的时候，非常喜悦的心。那尤其是让我们平常身在福中的人能见到这样，无情中其实受益的最多是我们，可是也带给其他人欢乐。志工多年来的带动，也让附近居民有了善的回馈，不少人捐出他们的竹筒。When I go to the store and I put the, the chains inside in the, the can, because you help us with food in the in the clinic for us too. And uh, thank you so much for help us. 慈济医疗团队的专业诊疗，加上志工的引导陪伴，让圣伯纳丁诺渐渐透出爱的亮光。民众也愿意将手心向下，把祝福传递出去。大爱新闻，这是美志工罗碧珍、李建群，美国报道。